White Buffalo Calf Woman, presented by Dana Marshallick, English script by Paul Little, Lakota script by Sydney Keith, illustrations by Gilbert Agnew. Early one morning, two Lakota men went out to hunt. They had walked a long way from the village when they saw a white cloud coming toward them from a distance. It was a clear, sunny day, so they wondered about this strange cloud. As it came closer, a young Indian woman dressed in a beautiful white buckskin and carrying a bundle stepped out from the white cloud. She was the most beautiful woman they had ever seen. This woman gave such a feeling of beauty that one man felt she was sacred, while the other man thought bad things and wished to take advantage of her. The woman put down her bundle and asked the man with the bad intentions to come to her. As he neared the beautiful woman, the clouds surrounded both of them. When it lifted, the woman stood alone. At her feet lay the bones of the man. The woman said to the other man, Go, tell your people what you have seen. Tell them I bring a message of new life and peace for them. Return to your chief and tell him to prepare a large teepee around which all of our people can gather. Make all things ready for my visit. The good man returned to the chief and him and told him that all had happened. The chief instructed the people to erect a large teepee and to wear their best buckskins. Everyone wondered about the sacred woman. In four days, the woman came to the camp. She entered the teepee where the leader sat waiting. She walked around sunwise, taking from her bundle a sacred pipe. She spoke these words to them. With this pipe, you will be bound to all your relatives. All people and all things in the universe are joined to you, you who smoke this pipe. The woman stayed with the people four days and four nights. During this time, she showed them how to prepare the pipe. She told them to go to the place where she had first met the two young men. She told them they would see an old buffalo path that they had that had been worn down to the rock. Dig there she said, and you will see a layer of red rock. Throw this first layer away, and you will find large slabs of rock in the second layer. She had a piece of this rock with her, and she showed the people how the sacred pipe should be carved. Then she brought out a plant and showed them how to dry and cure it for tobacco. She did it the same with the kinikinik, red willow bark, Cut small bands of the red willow, she told them. Then take off the outer bark and use the inner bark. You must dry it and mix it with the tobacco. Then fill the pipe with this. Then she showed them the ritual of the offering of the pipe to the great spirit and the to Mother Earth. She first pointed to the stem of the pipe to the sky, then to the east, the place the sun first shines on the people. Then to the south, land of the spotted eagle, where the departed of this life dwell. Then to the west, where the sun leaves for the new day. In the last to the north, land of the white swan who purifies. Next, she showed the Lakota people how to smoke the pipe. She drew on the pipe leisurely and passed it to the next person on her left so that the pipe went around the circle. After all the people have smoked the pipe, she said, it should be returned to the owner. Thus, the sacred pipe came to the Lakota people. As the woman started to leave the lodge, she turned to the people saying, Always remember how sacred the pipe is and treat it as sacred. I am leaving now, but I shall look back upon the people. The sacred woman left, but after a short distance, she looked back toward the people and sat down. 
When she arose, the people were amazed to see that she had become a red buffalo calf. The calf walked further, laid down, rolled, and got up as a black buffalo calf. Again, the buffalo walked further, rolled on the ground, and got up as a white buffalo calf. This buffalo walked on further, stopped, and after bowing to each of the four quarters of the universe, disappeared over the hill. This book was published by the Ingle Butte Public School and was printed in April of 1983. Thank you.